Oh, there are a bunch of players who hope to catch the eye of a general manager, a coach, or even an NFL scout. And one of those joins us right here tonight. Joining us now is uh, former UNLV linebacker Javen White. And Javen, what an opportunity to kind of, you know, get your name out there with this little mini combine that you're going to have this week here in Las Vegas. Yes, you know, it's a great. Uh, it's going to be a great experience for us. To be able to just to be, you know, just show or uh, showcase our skills. You know, we showcase our skills just far enough right now, and just for a general manager, a head coach, or anybody to recognize and maybe give us a shot. Uh, let me go back to your UNLV days. You had so much fun here at UNLV. I know the wins and losses. If you take those away, what a great experience, huh? I had a great experience at UNLV. You know, I really cherish all those times that I had. You know, Coach Sanchez, Coach Manning, my whole UNLV team. It's just one of those things that you'll never get college back, and I enjoyed my college days here. What were some of the highlights that you look back and say, man, I'm going to miss that, I'm going to miss this, I'm going to miss that? I'm uh, probably beating Reno for the candy. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm 2 0 for the last two days, I mean, two years. So that, those are probably the best experiences, really and truly. Just probably being able to have those police escorts going to Sam Boyd, you know, just being able to walk out for the captain line. It's things that like that that you're always going to, uh, like, like, really memorize and just love. How have you grown from your freshman year to your senior year? Now you're heading off hoping to catch the eye of an NFL scout. How have you changed as a person? You know, just maturing, being able to, you know, take a lot of the details that a coach gives you and basically address those throughout the team. You know, I, I grew into a great leader, I, I believe, and being able to come in, being 18 years old when you step foot on UNLV and me leaving at 22 is probably one of the, the things that you understand as life goes on and you, you have these years that you'll grow. And what about a couple of games over the course of your career? Do any of them really kind of stick out? As you mentioned the Cannon games. Those probably really stick out. But can you think of some moments that you go, man, that was really cool? Probably this year when we beat Vanderbilt, the way we beat them and how everybody was shocked and the, the way the team felt after the win in the locker room, the way the coaches looked, everybody smiled. And just memories like that will always be with you, especially, you know, going down there to SEC country and just laying on a good smacking on Vanderbilt. That's probably one of the best experiences I've had. You know, it seems like with the facilities now, with the stadium that's going to be built, um, do you see this program, or how do you see this program progressing and maybe getting better? I see this program, you know, going in the right start right now. You know, uh, the coaches right now, I've, I've, I've seen them all, the videos and stuff. The team looks great. You know, they're enjoying the coaches and they're just enjoying this whole process. All it is is a process. So if they stay along the course and just trust the process, they'll be good. And I'm excited to see them in the future. Sad to see uh, Coach San uh, Sanchez uh, move on. I am, I am. And, you know, I keep in touch with him. I talked to him last week. So it's just things about that, you know, I'm glad it was my last year and his last year too. But, you know, it's just the things that you, you see a sad ending. Yeah. What about the now? I know everybody wants this defense to get better. You were a big uh, part of that defense last year. Yes, sir. That's got that's what's got to improve, right? Yes, sir. They do got to improve, and I think they have a lot of key factors that's going to improve. You know, a lot of people have gained game experience now under their belt. So this new year that they're going in, they'll be ready. They understand the defense more, and they understand how offense are trying to dissect us. And I really think this defense is going to be really good. They have Vic Farrell. Uh, Drew Techman, a lot of returner people that have really good, good game experience under their belt, and they're very great leaders. And I think they'll do a great job of leading these young bucks. You know, you seniors that leave, I kind of feel bad for you guys because they have this beautiful facility, <laughs> and you don't even have a chance to really uh, enjoy it through your career. I say I got a little quick <laughs> little month in it. You know, I went uh, to the facility <laughs> earlier this weekend, just being around it and just being like, man, I was in here for a quick glimpse, and they all just thinking it's old now, man. Y'all know what old it is. You know, just looking at the lead and the new. Fertitta facility is, is a wonderful place, and I was just grateful to just spend at least a little time in it. I guess whoever takes over the program, it's now Marcus Arroyo. You wish the best for him. I mean, you're, you're a rebel. You want this program to succeed. Of course. You know, Coach Arroyo is doing a great job right now, especially recruiting. That's the, that's the number one thing to do as a head coach, and especially when you're taking over a D1 job. And I feel like he's, he's bringing a lot of juice that he's got from Oregon, so I think he'll do a great, a great job. And I, I, um, I hope he does a great job with the team, and I'm looking forward to everything they do. All right, stick around.